Investigators say a Weaverville man was shot in the head by a close friend. 25-year-old James Brown is charged with assault with a deadly weapon inflicting serious injury. Friends say the shooting was an accident. News 13's Ingrid Allstead joins us now live from the Buncombe County Sheriff's Office. How did it happen, Ingrid? Well, the suspect's girlfriend tells us the two men were playing with a pistol when it went off. <laughs> It was a typical night with friends in this apartment in Alexander before it suddenly turned tragic. They went back in the bedroom and then I heard a gunshot and all hell broke loose. The shooting happened around 1 a.m. Monday morning on Red Oak Lane. Caitlin Cresbo was in another room while she says her boyfriend, 25-year-old James Brown, and his best friend, 24-year-old John Tipton, were playing with guns. They do stupid stuff like that, you know, they take pictures with guns to their heads and stuff like that. But this time it went off. According to arrest warrants, Brown used a 22 caliber handgun to shoot Tipton in the head. Like the bridge of his nose. Presbo says she tried to keep her and Brown's 18-month-old daughter away from the action while she called for help. I called 911. I threw a towel in there so he could put pressure on it and wouldn't bleed all over the floor. Presbo says Tipton was trying to stand and talk while they waited for emergency personnel to arrive. He was taken to Mission Hospital for care. I love John and I really don't want anything bad to happen to him. Presbo claims there was no ill will between the two men. It was totally 100% a horrible, horrible accident. Why do you say it was an accident? Because I know that I know that my boyfriend would not shoot anybody, especially his best friend. Cresbo says the shooting can serve as a warning for others. Don't play with guns because stuff like this happens. And there is no update on Tipton's condition this evening. Brown was also charged with possession of a weapon of math, death and destruction for having a sawed off shotgun in his home. He's being held in the Buncombe County Jail on a $55,000 bond. Live in Buncombe County tonight, Ingrid Allstead, News 13.